Hey guys, we're gonna show you today how to uh, to flash a, a ducting, which is the same with a chimney, it's the same with any object. Um, again, we want water flow to come down. We have here, we've already put a flashing on the bottom. Um, we're gonna put step flashings up the side and then um, another full flashing of across the top so that all the water comes down the sides and out on top of the shingles. So same concept that we've talked about before. We're still trying to get all water so it comes on top of the shingles and your penetrations are always your weakest spots. So what we've done here, we've trimmed the shingle, the step shingle a little bit just for looks. We want this step shingle to come on top of the bottom flashing and we want it to be hidden by the next shingle. So I'm gonna come down to my line here where we put it. We're gonna put a couple of nails in it. So now you see any water is gonna come down and and come on top of this, sh of this uh, metal here and then continue on down. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our next steps in. So my metal is covered. Lined up. Put my nails in it. I'm gonna cut it so that we continue on with our, our natural steps that we created when we started. Then we're gonna keep going up. You'll notice one thing I do is I bend the step shingle down, it's almost flatten it out. What that allows me to do is to push it up against here and that will help keep my top tight so that I can get a good seal on there. Going on there. Uh, this flashing's a little bent, we'll adjust that. But that allows me to keep going up. So once we get our last shingle, One. This one's going to wrap around the top to seal our top edge. Come here, mark it. We're going to cut a little bit off so it just it wraps around a little bit. To my line. We want a nice tight bend. Pull it off, tighten it a little bit more just so it's secure. We've already done this on the other side as well. Teach you how to reload a gun. <laughs> Flip up that canvas. Above that cover, <laughs> put your nails in, pull them tight so that it's in the channel. The head of the there's a channel here where the head goes in, and we go to make sure we're in the chamber, slide that back down, and make sure it locks in place. All right, now we're nail that in. So now we have all. All water is coming down, it's coming on top of the shingle next to it. So now we've pre cut our uh, top piece. We want a full piece all the way along so we have no seams. As you can see, this one has wasn't a very tight cut. Um, you got a pretty big gap there, but we're going to cover that. So I've cut it, I fit it, 
and made that tight. I'm going to go ahead and put that down, tighten the corner so that we can uh, make sure we're tight against the panel. Put a couple nails in there to hold it. We'll come back, we'll screw these down so they're tight again so that we can get the silicone because this is bent up. Um, and then we'll continue our shingle across and that's what we do to uh, make sure that we have a nice clean uh, seal on our ducting, chimney or anything else. Happy roofing guys.